In this video, I will explain how to copy the files from one source folder to another target folder. And then once the files get copied from source folder to the target folder, copy the files to archive folder. Then append the date timestamp to the files. Then remove the files from the source folder. Now go to the folders. As you can see, in my source folder, there are five files present. What I will do? I will copy the file to the landing zone folder and then I have created another archive folder. Once the files get copied, I will archive, I'll, uh, move the files to the archive folder and then uh, in archive folder, I will add append the timestamp the files. Go to talent. As you can see, I have created one job. Uh, to achieve those, uh, I need to use these three components. One is the file list, it will list the files. Then the second one is file copy. Using this, I will copy the files from source to the landing zone folder. And then third one is also in my file copy component. Using this, I will copy the files from source to the archive folder. Then I will rename the files and remove the files from source. Let me go to the file list component. As you can see in this, I will provide the directory source directory then uh, uh, here i will use the uh, file mask as star it means uh, from this directory i will copy all the files or i will list all the files then uh, using the iterate like right click on that row iterate using that you can connect to file copy and i will click on file copy go to component and you can see file name uh, this i have to use the variable how to get the variable you have to use control space. If you use control space, you can get the variables. Then uh, provide the destination directory. In my case, I am going to copy the files to this landing zone folder. So I have provided that path here. And a few options I have enabled like replace existing files and create the directory if it doesn't exist. Then from this file copy one, file copy two, uh, connect using the file component. Okay. Right, right click on that and go to trigger. And on uh, component, okay, you can select. Now go to this file copy two component. Uh, here also I have used that variable uh, file list current file path. Then uh, provide the destination directory. In this case, I have provided the destination as. Uh, this archive folder then uh, as per my requirement i have to rename the files and uh, as i need to add uh, the timestamp so i'm getting the variable this file name i'm getting using this variable then appending the timestamp using the plus here i'm getting the variable as talent date format date uh, year month date hour and minute then uh, i'm adding the extension as .csv. Then the next uh, step like I have to remove the files. So uh, check this option, remove source file. Then I have to replace the existing file. If the files are already existing, that also will be exist, uh, will be replaced. Then uh, this function, it will create the file, uh, create the, sorry, create the directory if it is not present. So now let's run the job. As you can see, the job has completed. Let me go to the landing folder. As you can see, previously it was empty. Now the files got copied. All files from the source directory copied to the landing job. Now then go to the archive folder. In archive folder, you can see date and timestamp have been added in all the files. Uh, here, a month, day, then hour and minute. So it's uh, 7 June, time is 9.41. So it has been added. Then next is uh, remove the files from the source directory. Let's go to the source directory. As you can see previously before the job ran, files were present in the source directory. Now, once the job completed, files have been removed. So in this way, we can achieve all these three functionalities like copying file from one directory to another directory. Uh, then um, 
uh, rename the files and uh, remove the files. Thank you.